In this lecture, we are going to discuss another new addition of React 19 that is Use Action State Hook. In one of the previous lectures, we explored the Use Transition Hook, which will help to manage the pending state of forms. Today, we'll dive into the Use Action State Hook. This hook simplifies handling asynchronous operations within React components, especially related to forms. In older versions of React, Handling forms with asynchronous operations like fetching data took more code and manual approach. Use action state will allow anyone to update state based on the result of a form action. Means it is useful for handling form submissions where the action function can update state based on the submitted form data. To further understand use action state, let's discuss this code snippet. It shows a form for adding items into the cart. This code demonstrates a React component add to cart form that utilizes the use action state hook to manage adding an item to a cart. This is the import. When the use action state hook will be built in React, we need to import it. And there is an add to cart form component with two properties, item ID and item title. These properties help to identify the products that will be added to the cart. Now let's look at how use action state is used in this component. It takes two arguments. One is add to cart function as asynchronous function that presumably handles the logic of adding the item to the cart. It handles tasks like making API calls or updating the cart state. And the other is initial state here it is set to null, but it could be an object holding initial values for a message like success or error message. In this line, use action state also returns an array with three elements. One is state. This represents the current state of the component, which likely includes properties like message, is loading and error. Second is dispatch function. In this scenario, that is add to cart function. This function allows you to trigger the add to cart action and update the state accordingly. And third one is the is pending flag. This boolean declaration indicates whether the add to cart function is still running asynchronously. It will be useful for displaying loading states. Previously in React versions before 19, Managing these elements would require three separate states for message, is loading, and error. And we also needed to write code to update these variables based on the results of the asynchronous operation in add to cart. Use action state hook simplifies this process by managing the state and its updates automatically based on the action function. Next is add to cart function. It is an asynchronous function which holds logic for adding to cart like API calls. In the previous version of React 19, we needed to manage all states manually, something like this. Set is loading to true before operation. On success, update the message state with a success message, etc. But in React 19, Use action state simplifies managing the state related to asynchronous operations like add to cart, and it automatically handles updates based on the action's result, eliminating the need for manual state management in older versions. And in this line, the handle submit function is called when the form is submitted. It will trigger the add to cart function with necessary payload, and at the end, the form JSX conditionally renders the button text and any message based on the is pending and message states. This example demonstrates how use action state streamlines handling asynchronous operations and state updates in a React component. It provides a concise way to manage the pending state, success or error messages, and triggering the asynchronous action within the component. By understanding its functionality, and how to integrate it into forms, anyone can create more robust and maintainable React applications. Remember that this hook is currently in the experimental stages, so keep an eye on React's official updates for the last information and potential changes.